Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark with me, Notorious BLT. Uh, I am apparently having a... Oh, right. I burned myself. How could I forget? How could I forget? <sighs> All right. Uh, let's see. We're looking at six hours of daylight left. Uh, I am tired, hungry, and cold. Let's see. Well, we can eat these. That'll give me something. Hopefully it won't take me too long to eat. So, um, you guys gave me a whole bunch of advice, uh, and I very much appreciate all the advice, obviously. Uh, I don't know why anybody would not appreciate advice. That would just be weird. Um, one thing that I was reminded of uh, by Mr. Alabama Saxon was that uh, there... Oh, I wonder why it was... Oh, oh, I see. Never mind. All right. I... Uh, so, clothing now has, uh, like, wetness protection. And I'm not entirely sure how the mechanic works, to be quite honest. Um, but looking at what I've got, I think, like, if, if I'm understanding it correctly, I, I think, for the most part, I'm going to be avoiding wetness pretty easily. Um, but anyway, something that I was, uh, that, that uh, Mr. Saxon told me is, uh, he mentioned the method by which he hunts deer, which is either he, he will herd them into wolves, or... He will crouch down and wait for the deer to come close to him, and then shoot it with a bow. Oh, there's a wolf. I forgot. I forgot all about you. Oh, heck. No, no. You don't want any of this. That's right. You don't want any of this, pal. You don't want none of this. But at least you're giving me meats. At least, you got, at least you're giving me meats now. Meats which I can consume and live off of. Nobody else wants to mess? No other puppies? Okie dokie. I'll take all that meat then. Thank you. Thank you so much. For that meat. 36 minutes, that ain't so bad. Let's take all of that. Now a lot of you guys have been mentioning that I, I should be- drop something. That I should be leaving, uh, all of the meats that I don't cook outside. Which makes a lot of sense, honestly. Um, excuse me. There's a deer. Okay. Uh, because outside is basically natural refrigeration. Uh, now, if I'm right, there was a fire barrel. Yes, there was. Do I have... I only have sticks, huh? That is quite unfortunate. That is quite unfortunate. Uh, I don't really want to use accelerant. Um, there's nothing out here, huh? Well... I mean, I suppose I could use this newspaper roll. Is that even... No, that's not even going to help me, is it? No, it's not. Did I leave anything here? I could, mm, I could break down some crates. I could break down some crates. Crates could be broken. And I'm sure I already searched you, but let's just look. Yeah, you're empty. All right. Uh, mm, I am... Oh, I'm... That's right. I don't have a, I don't have a bed roll on me, do I? Poop. There's not really a good place for me to sleep, is there? Um... I suppose, then, the best thing to do would be to try to get home. Uh, let's see here. I'm just checking my map. Now, this is another thing that I want to try to get uh, to, to start doing, is relying less on just, like, looking at the map. And uh, relying more on landmarks. And, like, being able to look at the mountains and say, oh, well, this is the direction that I should be heading. Because that just sounds smart to me. Oh, I could be wrong. That could be very stupid. Let's see, if I look at this, so, right now I'm in the back of the, oh no, uh, this is the back? Yeah, this is the back, so if I go over this way, this should be, oh god, there's another stinking wolf. Alright, because if I go this way, I believe that's going to be the road, and then I can follow the road back home. Now, another thing that uh, Mr. Saxon told me is that I should, or the, not I should, but uh, the bear that I shot many times should be close to death, or bleeding to death. At the very least, in the process of doing so. It should be in the process of bleeding to death. Now, I'm going to leave that wolf corpse there. I don't really feel the need to grab all the stuff on it. Um, just the meat, because food is a problem. But anywho, so one thing that I think I might want to do today is look for that, uh, that bear. Look for that bear that I killed. Because, quite honestly, if we can get that bear, oh, we will have all the meats we will have all the meats, and his name will be Meat for Days. 
which uh, is a slight reference to the short arc series that I did, if uh, any of you remember that, or if any of you were around for that time. That is what... My lord. God, that scared the bejesus out of me. Uh... <laughs> God, that scared me. It sounded similar to a hound attack from Don't Starve, and I was just, like, freaking out for a second. Uh, anyway... That is, uh, that is the name that uh, I was giving a Megalodon, because, honestly, if you kill a Megalodon, you got meat for days. So that's what the Megalodon's name was, meat for days. So anyway, uh, we are going to continue on our way, trying to get home. I know it's getting dark. I believe this is the road that will take us home. I know we're super overburdened. We've got, you know, we're drained, we're hungry, etc. and so on. But we're going to try to get back to home. And, uh... Stop making all that noise, would you? Jeez. Holy crap. Now, we may come back here and try to hunt some deer with a bow. And when, when, if and when I do that, I'm going to lose most of the weight that I have on me. Because, honestly, as a lot of you guys have been pointing out, I, I carry way too much stuff on myself. <laughs> like, all the time. All the time. Uh, oh, I should also... Let's see, if I'm heading down the road from the outbuildings, that means that... Uh, let's see, on my right would be west... And on my left would be east. So if I see those mountain ranges, I'm heading west. Okay. I will try to remember that. I cannot promise that I will because, you know, <clears throat> bad memory, foolishness, all that stuff. You guys know. You know how it goes. I'm trying to keep my eye out for any critters that are trying to wreck my face. But it seems that nobody wants any, which is fine by me. Because I'd rather they didn't want any. And I'm also kind of hoping that at least one or two more of our... Wolf pelts will be nice and cured. So we can use them to start making that wolf skin coat. Now, as I said, I, I looked at some of the mechanics. I'm not entirely sure what all of this means. Like, if you look at the stats for the... Uh, is that a... Wait, have I been there? I've totally been there before. Yeah, that's a that's a kind of crappy shelter, isn't it? It's kind of messy. Or not messy, but yeah, it, it's just... It, it's a kind of poopy structure that we don't really need to deal with. But there are, there is a deer over there, so we could come over here and try to hunt ourselves some deer. There's the... Wait, is that the falls? That is the falls. Where... Wait a minute. If I... Oh my lord. I... If I go up around that mountain range, that little... or that, that higher... that higher elevation area, I believe that would actually lead me to the pond that I had been trying to find. My lord. I... See, I think one of the problems that I have constantly is that my, my sense of scale in this game does not really match what's on the map, because uh, on the map that I'm looking at, I should say. Um, and, I mean, that's no fault of the game. That's, that's, my, that's my fault. I, you know, I have a terrible sense of direction. I have a terrible sense of scale. It just, it, it never really works out. Uh, I, I hope you guys can hear me okay. For whatever reason, it seems like I've been coming through relatively quietly, and I'm not really sure why that's the case. I may just have to fiddle with the microphone settings a little bit. But, uh, I mean, nothing had changed previously, so I'm not sure what's going on. And I really hope I don't break myself here. I'm not going to bother with this stick. I, oh, God, we're carrying so much stuff. It's going to take forever to get up this hill. Come on now. Move your butt. Move it up. Let's keep an eye out for any critters. So now, in the morning, we may... Oh, heck. Uh, we may attempt to go hunt our... Uh, not hunt ourselves, because we already, we already hunted the bear and didn't do so well. We may attempt... What is this condition? Minus 25%. I really hope that's not like I have permanently lost that much. That would suck. Or maybe that like that's the maximum it can be since I'm suffering from burns right now. That may be the case. But anyway, uh, we are going to try to find that bear and hope that it's a corpse because if it's not, I may have to run away. I may have to run away. As, uh, as Mr. Saxon put it, I did put at least three bullets in. I, I think he said it was like at least three bullets into the thing. I mean, bullets that actually connected here. We're not, we're not, uh, we're not talking like bullets that I fired and, you know, completely missed. Uh, which was quite a few, unfortunately. Actually, how many bullets do I have left? Oh. Uh, four. Ugh. Right. Uh, so we may go looking for that bear, Mr. Meat for Days, and see if we can find Mr. Meat for Days and take all that meat and bring it back home. Here's Can't another thing. Yeah, we're getting inside, don't you worry. Uh, here's another thing that I am curious about that maybe you guys can answer for me. And maybe I asked this before and you answered it and I just don't remember because my memory is garbage. But, uh, if I leave meat outside, will it attract predators? 
Will predators come over and steal that meat? That is a question that I have for you guys. I need to find a place to rest. Oh, you will. Don't you worry. Uh, let's drop... And I, I'm just putting the, the meat in the fridge for now. We're not actually going to keep it there. I just want to get it out of my inventory. Uh, we can also put our other food items down there. There's no... Oh, we don't have any other water, huh? All right, well, we'll have to deal. We'll have to deal. Um, let me see here. We got that... Uh, do I want to use reclaimed wood or sticks? Oh, right. You're, you're so full you can't take anymore. That's right. Uh, well, let's put some of this fire stuff away. I don't need you anymore. I uh, definitely don't need you. I don't need you. I really just need matches and sticks. Huh? Well, the fire striker and the, the magnifying lens are nice. Uh, oh, right. I need to have a nice big chunk of wood to start that fire. Get you. Uh, let's transfer two. Yeah, just in case we need two of them. Uh, let's do a stick. And is there anything else I can start the fire with? Um, I'd kind of like to save the fire striker. Wait, where did... Oh, no, let's use the cardboard matches. I would kind of like to save the fire striker. I know we got to bandage ourselves up because I got all burned because I was stupid and ran over a stinking campfire with... Stupid, 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 stupid. So dumb. Now, I... I'm also thinking that perhaps one of the things we might want to do is go back up to that tower, that communications tower, and try to grab our... Oh, no, it's just the fire. Uh, try to grab ourselves that pry bar. Because I I was stupid and left a pry bar back in the other map, which I really shouldn't have done. I should have kept it with me. Okay, let's add that log. Excellent. All right. Uh, now let's grab that meat and cook it up. Come on. There we go. Alrighty. Food. Meat. Excuse me. Thank you. Too heavy. Yeah, we are very, very tired. But hopefully we'll be able to cook up most of this meat before we have a bad time. Yeah, that is still draining. Not a fan. Not a fan of that. Not at all. I know, I know. We're tired. We'll deal. We will deal. Alright. Uh... I add another log. We're, we might lose some condition just from being tired. But I don't think that's really going to be that big of a deal. As long as it doesn't end up being like this kind of crap. <laughs> and we might actually want to boil up some more water. Maybe. Oh, are we? Well, I got the fire going. I might as well do it now, huh? Yeah, I might as well do it now. So we'll we'll eat a steak, we'll drink, and then we'll uh, we'll go to bed. Yeah. And uh, actually, maybe we should make some tea. Or should I? Um. Okay. Yeah, we have the herbal tea rest, so that's good. Uh, let's eat. Oh, okay. Well, we'll eat that first. That's fine. Yes, we're parched. We'll, we'll deal. I know. Eating salty steak. Uh, alright. I don't know if we actually have to be, like, super outdoors. I don't know if we have to actually drop the meat in the snow to get the, uh, the improved, you know, meat lasting time. I guess... Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Don't you come through. This should be cold enough, I would think. This should be cold enough. No, well, okay. That's not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. Uh, drop it, drop it, drop it, and drop it. Um, well, actually, wait a minute. No, no, no. Take one. Take one. Because we might need it overnight. You know, wake up in the middle of the night, have to have a, have to have a food thing. Okie dokie. So, I needed bandages, I think. Or was it... What was it that I needed? I need... Bandage and... Oh, what's, um... Where's my rose hips? What is this? Oh, gloves. Uh, is it this? Yeah. Just transfer all of it. Um, now I need... Where's the bandages? There we go. Shut up out there. Shush. 
Here, you motorcycle man. You shush. Oh, I... Never mind. Never mind. We'll just take the regular painkillers. I was going to make a uh, painkiller tea out of that rose hip, but I forgot that I let the fire go out. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so let's... Where are the painkillers? There we go. Uh, no, on antibiotics. Painkillers. Hmm. Alright, treat it. Okay. And let's put everything back. Uh, oh, wait. Is there anything else for you to put back? No, not really. Not really. Hmm. I may have to make some more bandages. Yeah. We have to make some more bandages. So in the morning, I think we're going to try to work on uh, putting some stuff away. And I should carry a bedroll with me. Just on the off chance that I end up staying overnight somewhere. Yeah. That's an hour of daylight left. That's fine. Just sleep for like five hours. We've got that improved rest, which would be really nice. Move my pop filter out of the way. See if that helps. Because I think I, I was having the pop filter in a in a crappy place. Actually, let's hang on a second. Okay, that should be a little bit better. How are we doing? We are thirsty and we are peckish, and that's fine. Let's drink a little bit of water. And we don't really need to bother with the food right now. We got six hours until we hit daylight, huh? Sleep for another five. Perhaps we'll have to clean our rifle a little bit. Although, I think uh, Mr. Saxon told me that you can't do that now, maybe? Not entirely sure. Okay, we got at least another hour left to rest. Alright, gimme. Give gimme give goodness. Okie dokie. So, oh good, and our condition's at 100. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. And now we want to eat. And we want to drink and be merry. Okay. Now, there is... Uh, how are you doing? You're cured. Wait, no. That's a fresh wolf pelt. Okay. You're busted. Fresh wolf pelt. Cured wolf pelt. Sweet. Fresh wolf pelt. All right. So, you're at 97. You're at 76. You guys are really close to finishing up. Really, really close. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. Things to put away. There are so many things that I could put away. Uh, we're going to bring this stuff downstairs. I'm going to keep... Do I need to keep the can opener? I'm going to keep one can opener on me just in case I need it. Uh, I know this is how I end up being all the time, but... This is how it ends up. How I do. I suppose I could just leave the quality tool... Wait, did I leave a quality tool downstairs? I don't recall if I did. I don't really need the rifle cleaning kit on me all the time either. I don't need to keep any clothing on me that I'm not actually using. I don't need the extra whetstone. Honestly, I think that what's probably doing it for the weight is... Yeah, a lot of my clothing is what's doing it. Shoot. Well, I also don't need all this stinking fuel on me. Yeah. All right, let's go drop some of this stuff off downstairs. Actually, I might as well just take all the... Pe well, hmm. Wait, are you guys finished? No, you're fresh. Shoot. How about you? No, you're cured. All right, good. Cured. Excellent. Uh, you're... Yeah, okay. I, I, I want to leave those pelts up here just because I'd like to just know when something is, uh... is cured. Like, I don't want to have to keep going downstairs and checking over and over and over again. Come on. Load, would you? Thank you. All right, now I left you guys out here. That's fine. It's foggy. It's foggy, so I... D well, wait a minute now. You can still see the mountain ranges. That's one thing that uh, Mr. Saxon also told me, is that, you know, you can always see the mountain ranges. S or almost always, at least. So I should be paying a lot of attention to that. Because even if I kind of lose my way, I can still get around by knowing where the mountains are. All right, I know I le Yep, there it is. Okay, I left one cured pelt down here. Let's see. Drop you. And there was some gut. Drop the gut, and we'll put that feather in here, where it belongs. Excuse me, I said where it belongs. Thank you. Uh, now let's see here. I should... There was some clothing that I had that should get repaired. Yeah. Let's see if we can repair you. 
85% chance of success. I really, really hope this does not... Well, it's going to repair 27%. <sighs> Here's the thing. If it's going to cure 27%, or not cure, but uh, repair 27%, that means that, th that... That tells me there's still more that... Yeah, I... There's still more that I could be... Like, I could allow the, the durability to drop more before actually repairing. So let's do that. Let's let's let it drop just a wee bit more if we can. All right, so we got two of our cured wolf pelts. Oh, I was going to... Uh, did I have tools down here? Yes, I do have a quality tools down here. Is there anything in these cabinets? No. What about over here? This one. Right, this one has scrap metal. Uh, I guess I don't really need to keep tools on me all the time. Why don't we just drop these off? Yeah, there's no... Oh. Well then, um, I suppose we'll just drop you on the ground. Where you at? Oh, no. There we go. Drop you. All right, and let us clean you. Uh, you're going to give me 6% back? That's good. I think we actually have another rifle cleaning kit left. So this is this is fine. Uh, no, we'll leave you for now. Uh, oh, you're at 90%, huh? So you guys do run out. That's unfortunate. Right, let's sharpen you. I actually didn't see how much that was going to give me back. I probably should have been paying attention to that, huh? Yeah. Well, it's got... Okay, it's going to sharpen by four. That That's fine. Just keep going. I just want to make sure that we're actually keeping our, our tools in tip-top shape. Last thing we need is for all of our stuff to get all crappy and, you know bad <laughs> and start falling apart it's no good no good when it falls apart okay uh do i need to sharpen the knife i suppose i could couldn't hurt fruit by five that's fine okay and our whetstone is almost dead almost not quite but almost i'm wondering if there's a way to repair that bow if not, that means I'm going to have to find more of those... Uh, was it maple saplings or birch? I think it might have been maple... Wait, birch? I think it might have been birch to make the bow. And then maple to make the arrow shafts? Maybe? Oh, God, this fog. God, this fog is terrible. I'm not sure I want to deal with this right now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure I want to deal with this right now. Crap. Crap. Shoot, maybe we should just stay inside and do a bunch of cooking, make ourselves... Act. I wonder if the painkiller tea goes bad. Does the painkiller tea go bad? I wonder. I wonder. I do kind of want to make... Well, we are going to need more... Shoot. Can I, can I break you? I can't break you. Uh, dang it, man. We are going to need more water, so I suppose it's not a bad idea to work uh, to, to get that going right now, but I, I don't want to use a fire for that, man. I really don't. Did I leave anything in these cabinets? I don't think so. No, I did not. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's just a metal pan. Alright, we don't have to worry about that. Um, sugar. Sugar! <sighs> Should I? You know what? There was a deer outside. Uh, there was a deer outside. But it's so foggy. It's so foggy. You know what? No guts, no glory. If we get a little lost, it's not a big deal. We're close to home. Or is it a big deal? I don't know. I don't know if it's a big deal. Whatever. We're close to home. As long as I keep my bearings, I think we'll be okay. I mean, that's asking a lot for me, though, to keep my bearings. Is that... No, okay. Oh, God. I thought it was a wolf. It's like, oh, so you're back for more, are you? Just in case, actually. Let's keep our rifle out. Keep that rifle out just in case we find a bark bark. Alright. Keep your head on straight. Go. Okay, yeah. We've already lost sight of where we were. Man, this fog sucks. This fog sucks big time. Now, I mean, if we had... If, if all of the wolf pelts were cured, this wouldn't be such a bad thing. Because we could just... Sit in, sit in the basement and make a, a wolf coat. But no, of course not. Why would that be a thing? 
Why would they allow that to happen? And one of the reasons that I'd like to kill a deer is, for one, the meat. The meat is great, but also... I think I have no idea where I am. Uh, uh, also, getting another cured deer pelt would help because that'll allow us to repair some of our gear. Wait, is this... Oh, ooh, cattails. Okay, that's, that's another food source we can use. Just gotta be careful because the ice will apparently break on you from the new update. I don't know how to tell if you're wet. Like, there's no wetness indicator. So I don't know how to tell if you're... Oh, this is actually a way that I can do things. I can just follow my footprints back. If they stick around, which they may not. Well. Uh... They are kind of sort of sticking around. Wait. What? <laughs> oh, no. Am I... Okay, no, no. I'm getting myself lost. Don't do this. Don't do this to yourself. Don't do this to yourself. It's all bad news if you do that. Let's just stay up on the ridge. Keep moving. I think this is... Is this direction of the bridge? Th this fog is just such a pain in the butt. It, like, I, I want to go out and do stuff, but if the fog is going to be ruining lives, then I don't want to be part of that life ruining. If you all know what I mean. Alright, bridge. Well, actually, you know, if we run into some... some big branches, we could at least get some firewood. Yeah, I suppose we might as well use our time gathering firewood and whatnot. I mean, it's no no problem with that, right? Might as well. We're going to need it anyway. Yeah, we're going to need this stuff anyway, so what does it matter? Just just take it. Just take it. Minus nine Celsius. Yikes. That is extremely cold. Now, I think there is actually a way to change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Don't you dare. Don't you dare break on me. Okay. Oh, mm. well, we're chilled. We're not... We're not super bad off right now. Let's see if we can cross. It's minus nine. This ice should be, like, rock solid. I don't remember what the conversion rate is for Celsius to Fahrenheit. I just know that, uh... Actually, I forget what it is that... I, th I know that uh, Fahrenheit was based on the boiling and melting points, or the, the boiling and freezing points for some substance. I forget which. Um, but Celsius is based on water. So, like, 0 degrees Celsius is when water freezes, and 100 degrees Celsius is when water boils. But I believe that Fahrenheit may have been based on brine or salt water, I think. I used to know this, and now I can't quite remember. Alright, we're at least gathering a whole buttload of sticks. Why you make noise? Why noise? Hmm. Okay. And then you got Kelvin, which is even weirder. I think uh, Kelvin is, um... Let's see. It's the boiling point of water and then absolute zero. So, like, zero degrees in Kelvin is actually absolute zero. That's, like, the temperature that you would get in space. Although, I, for some reason, I seem to remember that space isn't actually at absolute zero. Oh, hush. That space isn't at, at, actually at, like, true absolute zero um, because there's still radiation. But it's still so cold that you really can't tell the difference. All right, I think, yeah, these are the kinds of branches that we can break down for goodies, but I am very cold. I mean, if we lose a tiny bit of condition, I guess it's not the end of the world. Or it's going to be the end of the world. Well, we're going to lose... We're, we might start losing fingers. Uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Let's get across. Let's get home. Goddamn freezing. I know. We, we'll, we'll bring you home. Just ah, calm down. We'll get you home. We'll get you home, so long as I remember how to get home. Alright, there's the patch where we gathered up the cattails. What is that? Is that oh, that's just more plants. I don't think we really need to worry about that. Alright, yeah, we are losing condition. That's... I mean, I was going to say that's okay, but it's, it's really not okay. It's just more we're going to deal for now. We've got a whole bunch of wolf meat at home, so that'll be nice to keep us fed. Without having to dig into our... Uh, Mostly non-perishable supply. This dang fog, man. 
This dang fog. So I'm kind of hoping that uh, soon somebody is going to update the wiki. Well, somebody may have already updated the wiki, but I'm hoping that the wiki gets updated soon to uh, talk about like exactly how a lot of the new stats work. Because that is something I'm curious about. Is it? Oh, crap. Um, oh, my God. Am I, am I heading in the right direction? I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, Pleasant Valley Farmstead. Good. Okay, there's the car. There it is. Okay, good. God, this fog is awful. Yeah, I can't see Jack. This is crazy, man. Visibility is like, maybe, what is this, like 150 feet? Maybe? So like, uh, what is that, 50 meters? Yeah, it's about 50 meters, I think. Okay, let's take that wolf meat. Let's get inside. Start ourselves a fire. Have a nice time. Alright, oh god, I, wow, I actually got a lot more cedar out of that than I thought I would. All right, let's start up that fuego. Take a drink of water. Come on. Ah, delicious. <sighs> okay. Someday this fire will start, and then we can actually warm ourselves up. Maybe, oh, I should grab my rose hips and make some tea, because my, my plan right now is to boil up a whole crap ton of water. Like, I want to use this entire time with the fire to boil up water to throw in the fridge. Because I don't think the water spoils. I mean, in real life, water can technically spoil because it gets, like, uh, did it? Uh, mildew or fungus or whatever. Uh, I don't need to... Okay, let's do this. Yes. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Alright, let's do uh, a liter. Of that delicious water. And let's boil it. And then we'll do the same thing again, and then we'll probably make some rosehip tea. Well, actually, let's make the rosehip tea first. Yeah, let's make the rosehip tea. Because I think we can still do, like, another half liter with the remaining time, maybe. Maybe. Now, I, I know I don't need this tea right now, but I figure I might as well make it while I've got the chance. Alright, and boil that. I don't think that's going to... Yeah, that's not going to use up all of our time. Thankfully. Uh, do I want to add another... Lo let's add another log. Let's just do it. I want to get a ton of water out of this. Yeah, I want to get a ton of water out of this. Just to have, like, a whole bunch in reserve. Too much stuff to carry. Oh, just, 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 just hang on, would you? We're going to be putting most of it away anyhow. And let's do another 0.5, and then another 0.5. Now, I know I don't always cover everybody's uh, tips and suggestions, um, and that's mostly because my memory's garbage, and if, if I did, quite honestly, because you guys have been so freaking helpful, is that uh, I would be... What? Okay. Interesting. Uh, should I cook up herbal tea? No, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we're good. God, I really wish it wasn't so freaking foggy outside. It's so frustrating. Put you away. Let's put some sticks away. Oh, I guess I can't put that many sticks away. Uh, transfer. Okay, and transfer you. And if I can't transfer you. That's fine. Go to our other fire stuff cabinet. And we'll transfer most of you. Uh, we want, what, 19? Yeah. Because then it'll leave us with 15. Right. Okay, good. And I... Okay, good. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Why didn't that transfer? That's weird. Okay, now let's go to our food and let's dump off a whole ton of this water. Uh, let's do... Yeah, that looks fine. All right. Now, food stuffs eat you. Might as well just get this out of the way and eat it now. Okay, and we will eat you. I know that's going to make us parched. We're going to drink water right afterwards. Jesus. Man, that really hit us. Like, really hard. God damn. Okay. So now let's 
take a peek in here. Let's grab just a wee bit more water. Okay. Now, how are my pelts doing? We got an 81 and a cured pelt. You guys doing your 99% cured, and you are, what, 70? Okay, now I'm sure that there's still more crap that I could leave behind. I guess I don't really need the... Well, do I want the tea on me? Why am I even debating this? I don't even know. Let's let's make use of our time today. Let's actually do something with our time, since going outside doesn't appear to be a good idea. Let's actually make use of these things that are around us. Uh, I want more cloth, if at all possible. An hour and 36 minutes. That's fine. That's going to make us tired, hungry, and all that crap, but that's fine. Just I want to actually make use of our time here. Curtain, let's break you down. Because at least with the cloth, we can make ourselves some bandages. Very good. And there should be more, shouldn't there? What about, uh, I thought I saw some cushions or something. Pillow, break you down. Very good. And... Oh, more curtains. Break it down. Which bad self? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Jeez. Now, I think we're going to hit the sack. Yeah, we're going to hit the sack. After I grab some FUD. Come on now. I think, that for me, this is the only problem of storing stuff outside. Is that we're going to have to go, like, we have to load to get food. Which is really just, it, it takes up time, that's really all it is. It's its not like a big deal or anything. Alright, let us, no, 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 I need the food, let's eat a steak. Very good, and let's drink a water. I should probably actually get a little bit more water out of the, out of the thing. Yeah, let's get a little bit more water, water out of the, uh, the fridge here. Good lord, I've already used up so much. Transfer half. Okay, that should keep us good for the night. Oh, I gotta put all this cloth and whatnot away. Uh, is it here? Yes. Okay, put you away. Put you away. And what was your thing? All oh, right, we had lots of uh, we had lots of firewood. Or I'm sorry, reclaimed wood. That's what it is. Where you at? There you are. Uh, might as well. Just, oh. All right, then. Uh, I guess we have to start another fire cabinet. Transfer all. Very good. Uh, did I have any others? No. Okay, good. All right, folks. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all did enjoy it. If you did, you know what to do. That is going to be it for me, Notorious BLT. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye, folks.